First up, Arsenal survived a huge scare to claim an aggregate victory over Swedish Minnows Ostersunds and scraped through to the last 16 of the Europa League. The Gunners won the first leg 3-0, but one of football's great shots looked on the cards at half-time after the visitors struck two goals in 71st half seconds. Callum Chambers was arguably at fault for both. For the first, he turned home Aisha's shot into his own net, having also played an onside in the build-up. And for the second, he was beaten to the ball by Semmer, who turned away from him neatly and smashed home to make the tie very interesting indeed. Arsenal got one back in the second half through Kalashinak, who rifled home with his weaker foot. But the Swedes hung on to seal a famous victory. Arsenal didn't have a good night at the office. One of the main culprits was Danny Welbeck. Having been played through by Jack Wilshire, he decided to try a cheeky chip. He couldn't finish his dinner at the moment. And here's a mental stat for you. Sergio Ramos has more career goals than Danny Welbeck. Maybe Lou Van Gaal was right to sell him after all. Amazingly, Ostertons are only the second team to win at the Emirates in the last 28 matches, a run dating back to March 2017. Even more amazingly is that the town itself has a smaller population than the capacity of the Emirates Stadium. The Emirates capacity is 59,867, whilst Ossetan population is 49,806. Hmm. Elsewhere in the Europa League, Borussia Dortmund snuck through against Atalanta thanks to a late goal from Marcel Schmelzer. They went through 4-3 on aggregate. But the game was marred by racist chants from some of the Atalanta fans. Michi Bashwai posted his thoughts on Twitter. We agree with you, Batman. There's no room for that in 2018. Celtic's Europa League campaign ended at the first knockout hurdle as the Scottish champions were thumped 3-0 by Zenit St Petersburg. The only person to come away with any credit was Captain Scott Brown, as he turned up to the game in Russia where it was minus 11 in a t-shirt. It must have been cold, he had his hands in his pockets. The biggest casualties though were Serie A leaders Napoli. They were knocked out on away goals despite a 2-0 victory at RB Leipzig. Lorenzo Insagni set up a grand stand finish with this goal in the 86th minute, nipping in front of his man, but they didn't quite have enough. Rumour has it that Maurizio Sarri is still locked up in his dedicated smoking room that Leipzig built for him, not wanting to come out. And finally, we've been treated to some pretty crazy causes of injury for footballers. Jerome Votang being injured whilst at Man City after being caught by the air hose of his trolley on a plane is definitely one of my favourites. However, it's not a patch on the latest bizarre injury story, which comes from Scotland. Queen of the South's third choice goalkeeper, Sam Henderson, has hurt his shoulder after being struck by a runaway cow on his dad's farm. Yes, you heard that one right. Henderson was on the bench for last weekend's draw with Morton and was expected to do the same against Dunfermline on Saturday. However, the accident was meant he is facing a race to be fit. We're definitely going to milk the story for all it's worth. Utter madness. Twitter was lapping it up too. That's it for another episode of Course of Side TV. If you like what you see, hit subscribe, tell your friends and we'll see you when you're older.